Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the garage. If this is your first time stopping in, please subscribe to the channel. So, today I found a speed shop. Kind of. Uh, I found a shop that has automotive stuff that your Advance, your AutoZone, your Pep Boys, places like that won't have. Mainly AN fittings that I was looking for, but the guy said he can get anything I really need within a day or two, you know, depending on what it is. So, that's good to know. I got somebody local. It's Santiago Performance, I believe is the name of it, in Ronx, PA. So if you're in the Lancaster area, you know, he's got some stuff. I'd suggest calling over. The guy's name's Charles. Seems like a pretty cool dude. And for me, the advantage is he can get that stuff in a day. Um, now, the stuff he had in the shop there, AN fitting-wise, if, say, we were going to race tomorrow, we could have made it work. But he didn't have the 180 degree AN fitting that I was looking for in an 8 AN. He had a 6, not an 8. So we, we ordered that. And tomorrow's Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving if you're, you're watching this tomorrow. Um, but otherwise, he could have it in a day. So that's great to know that guy's there. Nice local business and all that kind of stuff. So I'll definitely be stopping in there. Anytime I probably need AN fittings and stuff like that, or at least calling over and ordering the stuff so I can go pick it up. So that is on hold until Friday for sure. But another thing going on Friday, we got a little field trip we're going to be taking, which will be Saturday for you guys. So I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag because I don't know how it's going to go, but we're going to an auction. I'll give you that much. So what are we doing tonight in the garage? Well, I've been out here for about two hours already, messing with the truck. As you can see, the interior, I don't know if you guys can because the lighting is bad, but the interior is a little more apart than it was. Basically, I just pulled this piece here out, which is below the piece that I had made the switch panel for. We're not going to be using that right yet. I'm going to get some good fancy switches to put in there because this little panel I made did take some time to get to fit the way it does as you can see there's no gaps or anything so i'm not going to be using that at this time so another thing i came up with was i took this little tray out which goes in here and made this crafted i should say i crafted it um basically cut this piece of aluminum angle out with a grinder and then filed it to fit and you know we got a couple mounting holes to fit in that slot this will be for our csp5 switch so as you might have seen before if you follow the channel i had that just kind of dangling up here so we're going to actually get that mounted finally and what i'm going to do with the other switches i'm actually going to mount them up top here for now nice out of the way place it won't look too bad i don't think and it's something we can cover up later it's not a big deal so what we'll be putting up there is these two switches. One of them will be for our aux transmission cooler. I can't even. You know, and uh, one will be for our engine fans so we can turn them on when we're at the track. If we get the dyno, which probably won't happen before the end of the year, but we can turn those on. Plus we have this uh, secret switch, we'll call it. You'll find out about that. A little bit later not in this video though our anteater i've decided not to mount on the dash i'm just going to leave it loose and lay it in the tray so when we're driving i can pick it up i can turn over driver overdrive on and off and just kind of keep it in my hand as i do that that and one thing i don't like about this controller is the wires just come out the side here and it's it's very hard to put this in in a clean way. So that's kind of the main project for tonight is get the switches all wired up and installed, get the dash started to go back together. If we have time, I would like to mount this. Uh, it's a pillar pod, which I'm not a big fan of, but you know it retains a factory handle. We're not gonna have three gauges stacked. And our transmission oil temp gauge. Now, that gauge, if you guys remember, is going to go right where it's coming out of the torque converter, out of the transmission, so that way we know what is going on with that transmission live time. So when we're spooling up, we'll be able to see the gauge come up. You know, when we get off, we'll see it come down. When the converter locks, the temperature should drop. 
all that kind of good stuff. So we'll get that in. Maybe tonight, we'll see. I really hadn't decided yet because we have our other gauge pod up here. Whether to put it up there and put the fuel pressure down here, I still don't know that. So that's kind of the game plan for the night. I didn't record any of the making of this little switch panel, but it was pretty simple. Just cut it to size, filed it to fit, and then drill the holes for CSP5 switch. So that's the game plan. Let's get started. Knock a couple of these things off our list. Change out the little panel. I got my little switches all made up. Um, two, two constants, I guess you would say. And then the momentary secret switch, which we, you will find out about eh, hopefully in a couple of days. So that's going to go in on top of here. But first, and if you've been following the channel, it shouldn't be a surprise. We definitely need to do a little cleanup all the wires everything is just filthy so I got to wipe and vacuum that all down then we'll start getting this center stack reassembled we're definitely gonna have to cut some of this plastic up top so our switches will fit but I don't think that's gonna be an issue because I think that's all part of this whole dashboard so it's not really gonna take any rigidity out of it so we can get this all reassembled and and be done with that. I think my piece for our CSP5 switch should be dry, so hopefully we'll get that in too. ran into a big complication with putting the switches up here the two smaller ones on the outside were fine but once I put the radio in as you can see there's not much room there's not much room now that's after I pulled this plate off of the top of the radio so when I did that I still didn't have much room so what I did was I actually on our specialty switch a little uh, secret one I actually pushed all the terminals down I got these 90 degree uh, solderless connectors and put those on there and now I can fit it in which I'll show you Switches work. This thing's not even bolted down yet, but I'm definitely gonna have to 
do some wiring in order to get all these things hooked up how it was a uh, little spider looking action there but uh yeah we'll get her done we'll figure it out like i said we pulled this top plate off the radio as you know if you've been following the channel i've been having problems with it anyway i've been i was going to change it out decided against it for now and uh yeah so we're, we'll make it work for now this is just kind of like a temporary setup i'm putting way more effort into it than i thought i would but that's just no it just is what it is all right so we'll, we'll get this wired up we'll get everything installed make a little harness setup or whatnot and go from there well i hate wiring so much i'm just gonna have a magician come in and poof all right so uh now we have this spider looking thing as you can see there's a lot more wires i added extensions to the other switches the green is for the engine fans because those need to be grounded in order to run all the time you know not when they're called for by the thermostat and then red is for the transmission aux coolers because they need power uh, power in order to be running all the time and then we have our red power wire for our mystery switch and our ground wire for our mystery switch so we're ready to install this hopefully i got to try and run everything and probably wire some of it and this has turned out to be way more of a pain in the ass than i originally thought i thought i'd just drop it in i wasn't even thinking about the radio so hopefully everything's fine i mean i don't think you know there's that cover on the radio but i don't think it's a big deal so we're going to find out, that's for damn sure. So we're going to work on getting this installed, and uh, that will probably be the end of the night because this took me way longer than expected. Uh, once again, I hate wiring. 